What is going on guys? JT Gilly back with another video and welcome to one of the most important and most anticipated videos of the year. You guys have been blowing up my mentions about making this video. So I'm here to make a 2021 GoFest guide. I've been playing every GoFest so I know the ins and outs whether you're playing hardcore or casual. These are the best tips and the best things to do to prepare for GoFest before, after, during, in between all that good stuff. So quick overview on 2021 Go Fest. It's gonna be happening this Saturday and Sunday, July 17th and July 18th from 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. your local time. We have two eight-hour days of Go Fest. Day one is catch day. It's gonna be focusing on catching Pokemon. Day two is raid day, where we're gonna be focusing on raiding. The Pokemon Go Fest ticket is available in the in-game shop for $5 if you were ever gonna spend $5 on something. This is something worth spending $5 on. Whether you're a new player, a casual player, a hardcore player, Go Fest is a must. That being said, and before we hop into everything, if you guys are hyped for Pokemon Go Fest, leave a like on the video. Man, it helps me out so much. It takes two seconds of your time. Not even two seconds. You could have been done already. Leave a like on the video if you guys are hyped for Go Fest, man. I'm excited. I cannot wait. Now, let's go ahead and hop into what you guys want to do to prepare for Go Fest before this weekend. Start coordinating your special trades with who you're gonna be special trading with and what you guys are gonna be special trading because remember, they just announced this. We have six special trades a day for the GoFest weekend. That is also including Friday. So you have Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. 18 special trades to do. Quick tip on that for Friday, I would say just swap some shinies that maybe you need or your friend has or whatever the heck, uh, or maybe just swap some legendary, something like that. But then for Saturday and Sunday for those special trades, I would say wait until after GoFest hours so you guys can see what shinies you missed during the day and see if the person you're playing with can hook you up if they got maybe an extra shiny or something like that. I think the biggest rule here and one of the most obvious ones, stack up on balls, berries, revives, and the high tier potions. So just a little breakdown on that really quick. Obviously you're gonna need a ton of balls for this GoFest weekend. If you are playing out and about, you don't have to worry about that as much, but you still need to stack up. So make sure you're maxing out your gifts every day, spinning a bunch of stops, and maybe for these next couple of days before GoFest, don't catch stuff you don't really need to catch. You might as well catch some better stuff during this weekend. Also, revives and potions are gonna be super important. Again, you can get that from gifts as well, spinning Pokestops, all that good stuff. You're definitely gonna need revives, so make sure you're stacking up on those because raid day is gonna be, it's gonna be raid, 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 raid all day. Um, also, I say save the high tier potions, so the hyper max potions. You probably can just drop the regular and super potions. You're not gonna need those. The next tip is also very, very important. Make room in your item bag and your Pokemon storage. I know it's hard, I know it sucks, but ladies and gentlemen, this is, this is where we grow up. This is where we make tough decisions for the better of ourselves, okay? If you have a bunch of Pokemon that you haven't been touching and you just have them for trade, but you haven't ever traded them and, and you never get to do it, or you have this Pokemon, but you're never gonna power it up. If it's like a, 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 a okay, like, I don't know, Medicham that you're never gonna touch, no offense, Medicham, like, yeah, just, just get rid of it. Clear up at least, at least try to clear up like 200 spots, at the very least. Uh, and then again, do that at the end of day on Saturday so you guys prepared again for Sunday. And then in terms of item space, like I said, swap those, or sorry, drop those lower tier potions. Um, you know, invest your rare candy somewhere. Don't transfer them, but invest them somewhere. This next tip is incredibly important. Make a Pokemon priority list for shiny Pokemon you need, Dex entries, and then candies throughout this weekend, including XL candies. So if there's Pokemon that you need the shiny versions of, especially with the raids, make sure you guys are doing those and do not forget about them because we all know how long it can take for some of those raids to get back in the rotation. So if you're missing out on some shiny legendaries, get that done, prioritize those Pokemon. Uh, if you're missing out on some Pokemon, and also that includes regular spawns too, if you're missing out on some of those shinies, prioritize those guys. Also, if you're missing out on Pokemon in general, if you don't have them in your Pokedex, 
focus on getting those bad boys as well. And then lastly, stacking up on candy is always incredibly important. Get those meta relevant candies while you guys can. And then for my people that are over level 40, those XL candies for the legendaries and for the spawns are gonna be huge. There's a lot of opportunities this weekend, stack up. And another quick tip to save you guys some time, make sure you guys have coins in your accounts already before GoFest so you don't have to go through that whole process of buying some coins because for those of you guys that are gonna be grinding, doing a ton of raids, opening uh, lucky eggs and star pieces and all that good stuff, maybe even buying balls, all that good stuff, make sure you just have some coins in your account beforehand, save yourself some time. And finally, something you guys can do that's gonna really enhance your Pokemon Go experience throughout your career, not even just this weekend, is get some people on your friends list ladies and gentlemen i have a i have a i have a site that's going to help you get this done go over to discord.gg slash jt gilly link is always in the description go over there read the rules get it done we have a family friendly discord where you guys can add up to 10 15 000 different people and you guys can start building your friendship it's the best way to get xp in this game but more importantly make sure you're opening all your gifts and if you need pokemon go friends check the discord check it out hopefully you guys can add some people on there but now that we've talked about everything before go fest let's get into game day dude because we got to get to it so it's go fest game day that being said let's talk about what the bonuses are and what the weekend is looking like really quick throughout this event there's going to be field research special research and time to research for ticket holders so make sure you guys are getting that done throughout the weekend there's also going to be half hatch distance on eggs so if you guys like popping eggs this is your time to pop them for this weekend we have three hour lures not incenses so the incenses are going to stay at their regular one hour duration but the lures are going to last for three hours so you pop three lures you got the full day of go fest lured up for yourself this one's kind of obvious but don't forget dude have an incense a star piece and a lucky egg popped the entirety of the time you are playing this weekend because you do not want to miss out on all that XP. Anyways, next, let's get into day one. Day one of Go Fest. It is focusing on catching Pokemon. So much Stardust, so much XP, so many Shinies, and hopefully so many good IV Pokemon. Just like previous years, hourly habitats are back. I I kind of am a fan of this. I kind of wish it was, uh, uh, whatever, we're not gonna talk about that. Hourly habitats are back, let's break them down. Before we get into the first specific habitat, let's just talk about these general Pokemon that are gonna be spawning throughout the day. We have music themed Pokemon spawning throughout the day. We have Pikachu with the Meloda hats. We have Chimeco, Cricketot, and Audino. These guys are just gonna be randomly going throughout the day, whether it's off your incense or lures. They can all be shiny. So make sure you guys are on the lookout for those. Audino and Chimeco also give huge, huge Stardust boosts. So make sure you guys are catching those guys too. And now we can get into our first habitat, the jungle habitat. So in the wild, we know these Pokemon are gonna be spawning for sure. There's gonna be more, but for now, we know that Scyther, Apom, and Froakie are gonna be spawning. Ah, uh, okay, whatever. In the jungle habitat incenses, though, we can get unknown F and G, which are both shiny this year, so make sure you guys take advantage of that. We also have Ludicolo, Chatot, Leafeon, and Superior. Jungle habitat looking okay. It's all right. The desert mountain habitat. This one's a little bit better. In the wild, we have Skarmory, Shieldon, and Hippopotus. Pretty rare shinies right there, plus Shieldon. And then from the incense, you can get Flareon, both the unknowns, Tyranitar, Flygon, and Throw. Throw can now be shiny, so that's something you're gonna wanna take advantage of. The desert habitat actually pretty solid. And then the Tyranitar XL candies are gonna be huge. The ocean beach habitat, probably my favorite one. We have Dratini, Swablu, and Alomaloma, Lomalomala spawning in the wild, all of which can be shiny. Dratini and Alomalomala, pretty rare shinies, I would say. Uh, so take advantage of that. And then Ocean Habitat Incenses, we have Gyarados, which can be shiny, Vaporeon, Azumarill, Unknowns, and then Sock. Sock can now be shiny as well. So good, good habitat. The Cave Habitat is OP as heck. I don't know how they how, how they thought this was fair. In the Cave Habitat, we have Roggenrola, Galarian Stunfisk, and Dino. Roggenrola and Dino can be shiny. We all know that Dino is probably the rarest Pokemon in the game right now, and it's going to be spawning in the wild. So hopefully you guys take advantage of that. In the cave habitat incenses, we have Umbreon, Unknowns, 
Gardevoir, good XLs there. Absol, which is gonna have a Mega soon, so hopefully you guys catch some of those. And it can be shiny, and Calvantula. I don't know what the order is specifically on when these hourly habitats are gonna go, but there they are. Really, really solid. Remember, it's gonna be like a, I don't know, it'll go cave, ocean, da 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 da, -da and then it's gonna repeat. So you have two hours for each habitat, and there's four habitats three of which are actually really solid. And then again, I just, the jungle habitat is just pretty trash. I don't know why they did that one. Now, I know day two is raid day or whatever, but there's still gonna be some raids on day one. Here they are. So in one star raids, we have Galarian Ponyta, Galarian Zigzagoon, and Dino. I don't know if you wanna be raiding Dino. I guess if you want a good IV one, it's a good opportunity to do that. Uh, but if it's gonna be spawning in the wild and it eventually will have a community day, you don't really have to raid Dino. I would say maybe save your passes for Sunday. In three star raids, none of... What was that about? What is that? Galarian, Weezing, Hitmontop, and Kranidos. I would be incredibly surprised if one person on this entire planet did any of those raids on Saturday. I almost threw up in my mouth reading that out loud. In five star raids, we have Mewtwo. I know that's exciting. I know that's tempting. I mean, if you get a chance, do them. But don't remember, or don't forget, Mewtwo is gonna be spawning on Sunday in raids. And also, it's going to be spawning for one week after GoFest. So, don't really need to prioritize Mewtwo. I would say, again, maybe save your passes till Sunday. And then in Mega Raids, we have a Mega Gang. Some new shiny Pokemon are also being released, which we can talk about right now. Here they are. These are the ones we know about. There's gonna be some surprise one, I'm assuming, but here are the shiny Pokemon they're gonna be debuting. We have the Wismer family, which I, I like, I like. We got Chimeco, we got Audino, Timpole, Palpitoad, and Seismitoad. Some beautiful shinies in there. Um, again, hopefully there's more, but that's what we got for now. And then for ticket holders only, we have Unknown F and G spawning, which can be shiny, and then Throw and Sock are also both shiny too. Okay, day one, done. That's all you need to know for day one. Again, remember the tips we gave before day one as well. Obviously take those into account. Now let's move over to day two. Again, it's gonna be focusing on raids, but there are still gonna be the same GoFest spawns happening during the whole day. So if you missed out the spawns from the first day, don't think that they're not gonna be there. They're still gonna be there for the second day, um, but day two is gonna be more focused on raids. So just like we have hourly habitats with spawns, we're gonna have hourly habitats with raids. Here they are. First up, we have Wind Hour, which is a little OP looking at it right now. We have Mewtwo, Ho-Oh, Latios, Latios, Regigigas, Giratina, Cresselia, Verizion, and Tornadus. Not all of these Pokemon are super useful, but then again, like I said, make sure you guys are prioritizing what you need to prioritize, whether it's the shinies you don't have, the dex entries you don't have, or getting a good version of some of these Pokemon. We all know how amazing Mewtwo is, but again, again, he's gonna be around for a week. So I'm actually not gonna be doing too many Mewtwo raids. I'll do them, I guess, but not gonna be a priori priority for me. We'll have a week of him afterwards. Ho-Oh. Ho-Oh does come back every now and then, but still pretty pretty rare. So I'll be doing a bunch of Ho-Oh raids. Beautiful, shiny, um, really useful guy too. Latios and Latias come back a good amount. Both have really cool shinies. We just had Regigigas, but if you missed out on that, here's some more Regigigas raids for you. Giratina's back around. Really good candies to grind XLs as well, and it's shiny. Cresselia, Verizion, and Tornadus. They're there. If you need them, do them, but probably not gonna be the biggest priority for most of us. Lava Hour. This hour is incredibly OP. I think this is the second best hour. I'll show you what the first one is later. Uh, we have Moltres, Entei, Regirock, Groudon, Heatran, Terrakion, Reshiram, Landorus, and Eveltal. Some of these guys are some are some of the best at their in their type. For example, Moltres and Entei, great fire types. We have Regirock, really good rock type. We have Groudon, one of the best ground types. Heatran, great fire type. Terrakion, great for whatever type Terrakion is. What is it? Fighting in something or whatever? Fighting in rock? I don't know. Um, Reshiram, beast fire type. Landorus is, is solid and Eveltal is also solid. So really good hour right there. A lot of shiny eligible stuff. Take advantage of whatever you need to take advantage of. But if I had to narrow it down to three, I would say Groudon is worth worth grinding for sure. I would say Reshiram is worth grinding for sure. And then, I mean, I don't know what the third one. For me, I'm gonna do, uh, for me, I'll probably do some some, uh, some some Moltres raids, maybe some Terrakion as well. The Frost Hour. I think this is the most, the worst hour. <laughs> uh, listen, there's some cool Pokemon on here, but let's be real, none of these guys are meta relevant except Kyogre. 
and and uh, of course Palky and Lugi are, are are really solid too. But I mean, just just be real, right? Like eh, you know. Uh, but still, some really good Pokemon in here. A lot of shiny eligible ones. We have Articuno, Suicune, Lugia, Regice, Kyogre, Yuxi, Mesper, Dissolve, Palky, and Kyurem. If I had to narrow it down to three that you should grind, definitely Kyogre, and then I would say Palkia and. Um, either Lugia or Articuno, depending on what you guys need. And then finally, we have Thunder Hour, which is the most OP thing I've ever seen in my life. We have Zapdos, Raikou, Registeel, Rayquaza, Dialga, Cobalion, Thunderous, Zekrom, and Xerneas. Are you kidding me? You, you know what you should prioritize? Everything, dude. It's all amazing. Um, no, on the real, Raikou is, is an amazing electric type attacker. Rayquaza is the best Pokemon ever. Dialga's a beast. Zekrom's a beast. Um, Zapdos, of course, man. A lot of shiny eligible, a lot of great raids right there. Take advantage of that, man. But those are all the raids throughout Sunday. And again, it's gonna work just like the uh, hourly habitat. So we're gonna have an hour to do those raids and then we'll have another chance to do those raids on a different hour. So two hours of each of those themes. Do as many raids as you can. Uh, speaking of raids, I mentioned free raid passes earlier. Spin gyms on Sunday to get 10 free raid passes. That's 10 free raids for you guys. Also, complete the timed research. Apparently, there's going to be a timed research on Sunday. Complete that to earn up to eight remote raid passes. So that's 18 raids already for free. For absolutely free. You don't pay a dime. And then, on Sunday, you also have a free bundle of three remote raid passes in the shop. That is 21, 21 free raids to do on Sunday. If you don't take advantage of all 21 of those raids, man, I don't know what to tell you. I'm pretty sure if you don't end up using the free raid passes, you lose them. So get them done. Get them done, guys. 21 free raids. If you do the math there, you're going to get... Um, well, oh, that's another thing actually, I actually have to talk about. There's going to be 20k XP per raid base. Not with the Lucky Egg, base. So with the Lucky Egg, you're going to have 40k XP per legendary raid. So let's just say, let's just say you do 21 free raids, right? And you have a lucky egg on for all those raids. That's a minimum of 840,000 XP, which is a ton no matter what level you are, right? That's a lot, man. That's not even counting catching the Pokemon or spinning the stop or whatever. That's almost a million XP from doing free raids. So please get that done if you're on the level grind for sure. Uh, and then again, recall your priority list that you made earlier. If you need to prioritize any of these legendaries for shinies, for dex entries, or for candies, make sure you're taking advantage of that. Again, the spawns are gonna be the same as the day before. Incenses are gonna bring in the Saturday spawns too, so remember to pop an incense if you guys want. Uh, do some snapshots after you complete the research. You get Flygon or Gardevoir, depending on what way you choose in the research, because there's two different storylines or whatever, but you can get either of those spawns. I'm going Flygon, I think, I don't know. Whatever one, I think I'm, I'm doing pop, whatever you get from doing pop. Um, and then, ooh, 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 one of the biggest things ever. Find out the Hundo CP for all, all legendary raids. The worst thing that could happen is you do a raid, you run into the Hundo, and you don't know it's the Hundo, and you either like walk away from the raid or you don't try hard enough. That's the worst thing that could happen because when you find out what you lost, you're gonna be pretty upset with yourself. So go find out the Hundo CP for all the raids. I think I have a graphic that I'm gonna link in the comments. Maybe I'll put it on the screen, I don't know, but check the check the description. That's pretty much it, GoFest 2021. If you guys follow those tips and tricks and all that good stuff, you will have an elite experience. A lot of fun, a lot of XP, Stardust, Shinies, good IVs, all that good stuff. This is how you wanna play it. This is what you need to do to have a fun, not need to do, this is what you should do to have a very, very good Pokemon Go Fest experience. If I forgot anything, let me know in the comments down below. I feel like I covered it all. I don't know what I what I missed, um, but make sure you guys are following these rules. Watch this video a couple times. I'm gonna have the times broke down in, in, in a video. Like I've never done this before, but apparently you can like set a certain time and I'll have like the certain breakdown so you guys can skip to it pretty easily. And of course, some few tips that don't involve the game. Make sure you guys are following your safety guidelines in your area. Please, for gosh sake, stay fueled throughout the day. Listen, I, I get there too. I zone out and I'm, I'm like this for eight hours or whatever. And sometimes I forget to eat or drink. Don't be me, don't be that guy. Eat throughout the day, pack some snacks, some chocolate bars, protein bars, whatever the heck. Uh, drink water throughout the day. Wear some sunscreen if you're gonna be grinding in the sun. And then of course, 
And don't forget this, charge your equipment. Charge your portables, charge your Pokemon Go Plus, charge your phone. Imagine not <laughs> Imagine you, you go to GoFest with your portables and everything, and your phone's dead. What are we doing, right? I know it's gonna happen to a couple of you guys, but hopefully I can stop it from happening to uh, more of you. So, ladies and gentlemen, if you guys enjoyed today's video, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. If you guys have not already, let me know in the comments down below if you're hyped for GoFest. I cannot wait. I know you guys really wanted this video. I'm glad I got it out to you guys, man. I can't wait. This GoFest, I have a really good feeling about this GoFest. I have a really good feeling about this GoFest. Hopefully, you guys have a great time. Let me know in the comments down below how you guys think I'm going to do. Let me know your predictions. Let me know. Let me know. Appreciate you guys. Have a good rest of your day. You better have a good day. You better have a good GoFest, all right? Because if you follow all that, you should. All right? All right, cool. Have a good rest of your day. I'll see your faces later.